हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू अफेयर्स क्लाउड माय नेम इज विकास सो फ्रेंड्स वी हैव एन एप्लीकेशन बाय द नेम कैरियर्स क्लाउड विच यू कैन गो एंड डाउनलोड थ्रू द प्ले स्टोर एंड वंस यू हैव डाउनलोडेड यू कैन लॉग इन विद योर जीमेल आईडी एंड व्हाई आई एम सजेस्टिंग यू दिस एप्लीकेशन बिकॉज दिस इज द वन स्टॉप सोल्यूशन फॉर ऑल द करंट अफेयर दिस इज द बेस्ट ऑफ द बेस्ट एप्लीकेशन एंड द प्लेटफॉर्म वेर यू कैन एनहेंस योर लर्निंग थ्रू हेल्प here you will be provided with multiple courses here you will be provided with multiple options of quizzes and even you here you will be provided current affairs on daily basis pdfs and quizzes will be provided to you on daily basis both in hindi as well as english here you will be provided current affairs with weekly basis and monthly basis also here remember once you have done watching our video then you can log in through this application take out the pdf read that pdf and go through the quizzes that will enhance your preparation same you have to do for weekly and same you have to do for the monthly also in monthly you will be provided with the top 100 important questions pdf and video also that will enhance your learning and it will be a very benefit and beneficial and important video for the revision perspective and not just this friends apart from this we also provide you banking and economic questions we provide you state current affairs such as of uttarakhand up tripura telangana and many more not just this apart from this we also provide you topic wise current affairs and the topics that we are providing you are really important these topics are such as national affairs international affairs important days sports defense science and technology apps and web portals obviously these are the important topics that are being asked in various exams across india so these are the topics that are must and should be covered and will be beneficial for the preparation of the students so such friends i'll highly suggest you to watch our video as they will be very beneficial for you in the long hello everyone so in this video we will be discussing important current affairs of first and second of may the session will be very important so stay tuned till the end as you will be learning multiple things that will be helping in your preparation let's start first we are discussing national affairs ministry of agriculture and farmers welfare and nafed that is your national agriculture cooperative marketing federation of india limited these two organization together launch the first ever millets experience center now what is this millets millet experience center this is basically at delhi hut right that is in new delhi and this is known as the food bazaar of delhi also delhi hut correct here in this particular location multiple people from all around the world can visit and witness the india's millet movement this millets experience center would help broaden the range of vision for consumers that are looking for healthier alternatives mecs these millet centers will likely come across delhi and some other states in future through collaboration with retail chains correct so which two organization have launched the first ever millets experience center it is your ministry of agriculture and farmers welfare along with nafed if asked about the ministry then you need to remember the ministry here also correct apart from this which year has been declared as the international year of the millets it is your year 2023 it was declared by prime minister narendra modi in 2000 18 if we talk about international solar alliance this is a joint venture between india and france and it started in 2015 headquarter is in gurugram haryana right moving on also remember this proposal of making international year of the millets 2023 it was supported by 2072 nations and it was declared by whom it was declared by united nation general assembly it was proposed by prime minister narendra modi but it was declared by united nation general assembly if i ask you who is the managing director of nafed he will be rajbir singh panwarji and the headquarter of nafed is in new delhi correct so ministry of agriculture and farmers welfare collaborated with nafed to launch the first ever millets experience center 
this will be in delhi hart that is in new delhi and it will be to enhance the public awareness on millets and encourage the utilization of millets next indian navy's warship starts inducting indigenous naval anti drone systems i repeat indian navy surface warship are inducting the naval anti drone systems that are developed by defense research and development organization drdo with the support of the indian navy and manufactured by bharat electronics limited let's see again indian navy surface warship they have inducting the naval anti drone systems these naval anti drone systems they are developed by drdo along with the support of indian navy and bharat electronics limited this is a public sector undertaking that comes under the ministry of defense apart from this if we talk about this nads these are the first indigenously developed naval anti drone system that to be inducted into the indian armed forces in 2021 indian navy and bel they signed a contract for the supply of the indigenous naval anti drone systems which is expected to provide an effective way to counter the increased threat to the strategic installations of the indian navy right if we talk about who is the chief of naval staff of indian navy admiral r hari kumar right so this naval anti drone system is developed by drdo along with bel next inocus exercise was conducted by indian air force no it was not conducted by indian air force first thing remember this conducted or hosted tell me inocus exercise was conducted or hosted by dash it was conducted by greece air force so remember the location will be greece where this inocus exercise was recently had indian air force took part in this exercise all right but it was conducted or hosted by greece air force right it was between 24th of april till 4th of may that this exercise was held right then apart from this from indian air force sukhoi 30 mark 1 fighter jet took part in this particular exercise correct next here you can see inocus exercise was held in greece air indian air force took part in it and greece air force hosted this exercise moving on next question which organization released a report stating that 9 out of 10 adolescent girls and young women in low income countries have no access to internet right here we are talking about internet and you one more thing about internet remember if we consider about the prices per gb per gigabyte of internet consumed all around the world then remember india comes out to be one of the country not at the bottom but still india is at a place where the amount of price that individual pay for internet is comparatively less then that amount paid by any other country and similarly a data was released in which it was stated that 9 out of 10 adolescent girls and young women in low income countries they have no access to internet and because of having no access to internet the amount of information that they can have the amount of knowledge they they can have the amount of awareness that they can have through internet is also lacking and this data was released by which organization it is your unicef united nation children's fund they released a report the name of the report here is bridging the gender digital divide and under this report it stated that challenges and an urgent call for action for equitable digital skills development around 90% that is 9 out of 10 adolescent girls and young women that are aged between 15 to 24 in the low income countries have no access to the internet right apart from this the report highlights that a majority of youth in low and middle income countries are not connected to the internet they have limited digital skills and they do not own a mobile phone 
among 54 countries and territories analyzed only eight have achieved the gender parity in internet use among the youth and among the regions the largest gap is observed in south asia favoring adolescent boys and young men by 27 percent points if we talk about unicef where is the headquarter it is in new york usa and who is the executive director here catherine m russell moving on see why internet is important you should also understand is this because of the internet as i just mentioned you will be having multiple information about multiple things you will be having awareness about various social issues that is going around all right then you will be able to learn multiple skills using internet one example is youtube right now i am teaching on youtube right youtube is employing me second youtube is benefiting you how because you are able to learn multiple things that are being taught on youtube right and if youtube would not have been there if this mode of information or this mode of transfer of information would not have been there then what used to be have done is that you have to travel to some location then you will be able to have the right information and there also our individual teacher will be only able to cater 40 50 students at max at a particular time but with the help of youtube at present you see that we are teaching almost 10 to 15000 on daily basis on daily basis 10 to 15000 students are watching my videos to get information don't you think that internet has revolutionized everything so that is the reason presence of internet and the knowledge of internet is really important in order to grow not only if see if an individual will be growing then in the end the country will also be growing moving on which organization launched a multi-asset nfo with old tax benefits so it is your white oak capital mutual fund they have launched a multi-asset nfo that is your new fund offer with old tax benefits right this is an open-ended scheme that will invest across multiple asset classes including equity related instruments debt gold instruments with old tax benefit the nfo is open for subscription from 3rd of may to 10th of may 2023 the minimum application amount is rupees 500 here and in multiplies of rupee one thereafter as it is an open-ended scheme it will reopen again for buying later here sip that is your systematic investment plan amount is rupees 500 on a weekly fortnightly and monthly basis where one opts for a quarterly mode of payment of sip the amount is rupees 1500 and in multiples of rupees one thereafter correct so it is your white oak capital mutual fund limited that has recently launched this multi-asset new fund offer with an old tax benefits here you can see it is your white oak asset management company they have announced the launch of their new nfo white oak capital multi-asset allocation fund which is an open-ended scheme that will invest across multiple asset classes including equity debt and gold instruments next which bank has launched shub aram fd scheme for senior citizens so shub aram this is the name of the fd that is your fixed deposit scheme this was launched specifically for senior citizens and it is your bank of india that have announced the launch of this retail term deposit scheme for senior citizens that is shub aram fd scheme all right with effect from 1st of april 2023 this special fd scheme will come in with an additional interest rate of 0.5 percent for senior citizens and 0.65 percent for super senior citizens the bank is providing a 7.15 percent interest rate on a 501 day term for the general public next who has been appointed as the lic chairperson and the first ceo he will be siddharth mohati right he has been appointed or acc that is your appointments committee of the cabinet has approved the proposal 
that was given by department of financial service under the ministry of finance to appoint siddharth mohanty as the managing director and interim chairperson of the lic that is your life insurance corporation right and he will be in this position till 29th of june 2024 after this he will be named as the first chief executive officer and managing director till june 7 2025 right or till the age he attain 62 years of life coming back if we talk about lic it was established in 1956 and headquarter is in mumbai maharashtra next here you can see acc named siddharth mohanty as the lic chairperson and the first ceo moving on here you can one more thing that he will be the first ceo and md till june 7 2025 that is up to the date of his attaining the age of 62 years or until further orders which is ever earlier with a pay scale of rupees 225000 that is fixed moving on ioa that is your indian olympic association set up a two member ad hoc committee to manage the world uh, wrestling federation of india we know that because of the case that is going on right now and the all the protests that are done by the wrestlers so in order to keep a track of everything in order to keep a check on those uh allegations that are going on and apart from that that there is no disruption in the day to day running of the office of the world wrestling federation of india indian olympic association has set up a two member ad hoc committee comprising of bupender singh bajwa the ioa executive council member and suma shrur the former indian shooter of outstanding merit of ioa to run the office of the wfi the governing body of wrestling in india correct moving on next shantanu roy to be the new or we can say shantanu roy will be the next chairman and managing director of beml limited i repeat shantanu roy he has been chosen to become the new chairman and md of beml limited that was earlier known as bharat earth movers limited this is a mini ratna public sector undertaking that comes under the ministry of defense and this public enterprise selection board that is pesb on 18th of april 2023 recommended shantanu roy for the particular position current chairman and managing director of beml is amit banerji right and currently he is serving as the director in beml so coming back who has been appointed as the new chairman and managing director of beml he will be shantanu roy next next is related to science and technology emirates airlines has unveiled the world's first robotic check-in assistant that is sara important take a note i repeat dubai based airline emirates has unveiled the world's first robotic check-in assistant that is named sara at its newly launched city check-in and trans travel store that is at icd brookfield place in dubai international financial city that is dubai uae so directly we can say what is the name of the world's first robot check-in assistant it is sara where is it it is in dubai uae okay tell me there is a line city that is being developed that is neo that is also located in uae only right so coming back remember what is the name of the world's first robotic check in assistant that is located in dubai uae it is sara the aim of this latest innovation of emirates is to enhance the customer experience and make the check in process more seamless and efficient next is related to sports golden globe race 2023 indian sailor abhilash tommy india's first 
और फर्स्ट इंडियन एंड एशियन टू कंप्लीट द गोल्डन ग्लोब रेस आई रिपीट अभिलाष टॉमी एज यू कैन सीम इन द पिक्चर ही इज एन इंडियन सेलर एंड द फर्स्ट इंडियन एंड एशियन टू कंप्लीट द गोल्डन ग्लोब रेस अभिलाष टॉमी ही इज फोर्टी फोर ईयर्स ऑफ एज ही इज अ रिटायर्ड नेवल ऑफिसर एंड ही बिकेम द फर्स्ट इंडियन एंड एशियन टू फिनिश द गोल्डन ग्लोब रेस दैट इज अ सोलो अराउंड द वर्ल्ड सेलिंग रेस विच स्टार्टेड ऑन फोर्थ ऑफ सेप्टेम्बर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फ्रॉम फ्रांस एंड ही केम इन सेकेंड टेकिंग टू थर्टी सिक्स डेज फोर्टीन आवर्स एंड फोर्टी सिक्स मिनट्स टू कंप्लीट दिस पर्टिकुलर रेस राइट दिस इज योर गोल्डन ग्लोब रेस एंड द फर्स्ट इंडियन एंड एशियन टू कंप्लीट दिस इज अभिलाष टॉमी करेक्ट नेक्स्ट वन मोर थिंग रिमेंबर इफ वी टॉक अबाउट दिस रेस राइट दिस रेस वॉज स्टार्टेड इन नाइनटीन सिक्सटी एट बट देन आफ्टर दैट इट वॉज हेल्ड फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम इन टू थाउजेंड एटीन नाइनटीन राइट हेयर अप्रॉक्सीमेटली फोर्टी थाउजेंड किलोमीटर्स मस्ट बी कवर्ड एवरी मेरिडियन मस्ट बी क्रॉस्ड एटलीस्ट वंस एंड द एक्वेटर ट्वाइस द रेस मस्ट एंड एट द सेम पोर्ट वेयर इट बिगेन ऑल राइट एंड अभिलाष टॉमी रिसेंटली कंप्लीटेड इट and he came second here next finance minister nirmala sitaraman have launched a book titled reflections that was authored by narayan narayanan vagul i repeat our union finance minister nirmala sitaraman she has released a book that is then by the name reflections this book is authored by eminent banker narayan vagul the former chairman of icc bank limited this book is a vivid account of vagul's experience over several decades in the financial sector of india narayan vagul was awarded with the padma bhushan in the trade and industry category in 2010 next when do we observe the world minimization week world not immunization it is world immunization world immunization week when do we observe this world immunization week it is observed from 24 to 30th of april every year we observe this day and remember this is not the fixed date remember it is the last week of april last full week of april that we observe here the world immunization week and this is basically to promote the use of vaccines to protect people of all ages against disease right then the theme that you need to remember here is the big catch up the big catch up this is the theme for the world immunization week correct and this world immunization week is observed by who since 2012 next when do we observe world veterinary day world veterinary day is observed every year on not every year remember this uh, we observe this every year on the last saturday of april last saturday of april month is observed as world veterinary day so in the year 2023 it was the 29th of april that we observed the world veterinary day in 2022 it was 30th of april and in 2024 it will be 27th of april then there is a theme that you can remember the theme for the world veterinary day is promoting diversity equity and inclusiveness in the veterinary profession next is your state news justice sv bhati has been appointed as the acting chief justice of the kerala state i repeat justice sv bhati has been appointed as the acting chief justice of kerala with effect from 24th of april he succeeds justice s manni kumar who retired on 22nd of april correct he will be succeeding whom justice s manni kumar so this is important take a note 
question can definitely be asked he has also served as the scanning counsel for several public sector companies including bharat heavy electricals limited andhra pradesh pollution control board hindustan shipyard national maritime university and so on also he had also served as the special government pleader in the high court of andhra pradesh so friends these were your important current affairs for today right now let's go for a quick revision of the current affairs that we just did ministry of agriculture and farmers welfare and nafed they have launched the first ever millet experience center indian navy's warship starts inducting the indigenous naval anti drone system indian air force participated in the exercise inocus 2023 that was held in greece UNICEF reported that 9 out of 10 adolescent girls and young women in low income countries they have no internet access and due to which they are lagging behind on the digital revolution white oak capital mutual fund they have launched the multi asset nfo with old tax benefits bank of india have launched shub aram fd scheme for the senior citizens ACC named Siddharth Mohanty as the LIC chairperson and the first CEO. IOA Internet Indian Olympic Association has set up a two member ad hoc committee to manage the Wrestling Federation of India. Shantanu Roy to be the next chairman and managing director of BEML Limited. Emirates Airlines unveils the world's first robotic check-in assistant that is Sara. Golden Globe race for 2022 was held and Indian sailor Abhilash Tommy the first Indian and Asian to complete the Golden Globe race and he secured second place. Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman have launched a book titled Reflections by Narayanan Vagul. World Immunization Week is observed from 24 to 30th of April. World Veterinary Day is observed on 29th of April. Justice S V Bharti has been appointed as the acting chief justice of the Kerala state. So these are your some important current affairs friends for the day. I hope you have enjoyed our session. Now let's move to our revision part. First Pushkaralu festival. This Pushkaralu festival is held after how many years? After every 12 years and this year it was held in Varanasi, Uttar Pradesh and it will end on 3rd of may and it is dedicated to the worship popping of the 12 sacred rivers next acc appointed deb deba datta chand as you can see in the picture as the new managing director and chief executive officer of bank of baroda whereas rajnish karnatak has been appointed as the new md and ceo of bank of india and they both have been appointed for a period of 3 years Next is your Asian Development Bank annual report 2022 was held and according to this Asian Development Bank Pakistan has emerged as the largest recipient of the Asian Development Bank loans in Asia I repeat the country that has emerged with the highest ADB loan for the period 2022 it is your Pakistan right next Seventh edition of the India UK bilateral training exercise Ajay Warrior was held recently. This is the seventh edition, and the location where this was held is UK. Sixth edition of this exercise was held in Uttarakhand. All right, sixth in Uttarakhand and seventh edition was held in UK. That is Ajay Warrior. Next is International Day. International Dance Day. This International Dance Day is observed on twenty ninth of April to celebrate dance and to create awareness about its role in various cultures and societies across the globe. Next is Manipur. Manipur has recently observed the Khongsom Day. It is observed on twenty third of April and it is to pay homage to the Khongsom war heroes who recent who were. martyred at the battle of the khongsom that is anglo manipur war of 1891 so these were your important revision current affairs friend now let's move to the homework part first 
which institution prepares the national health account estimate for india second nagorno karabakh nagorno karabakh is in a region which is disputed between which two countries third big catch up initiative is launched by which organization so friends these are your some important current affairs for you and these are your homework i hope you have understood the assignment all you have to do now is like the video and comment below and let us know what are your views for the same and apart from this friends i have seen in the comment section that multiple students are asking sir are the videos enough or do sh should we also go through the pdfs and quizzes see videos are just a part of your revision right just to explain you the content that what that news is particularly about but if you want to go into the detail right in exam question can be in a detailed manner so definitely you should refer the pdfs these pdfs will definitely provide you insight about various content and they will be helping you in revising that content right the facts will be covered here right why quizzes are also important and i'll suggest all the students who watch our videos that they should definitely check our courses where these course uh, quizzes are provided to you these are important and the reason these are important is that they will be helping you into revise the content that you have memorized through pdfs and videos right so in order to keep a check in order to make sure that is your preparation up to the mark these quizzes will be helping you to check your result all right it will be helping you to check your performance so definitely go through the quizzes also all right all the content that we are seeing they both are provided in hindi as well as english friends right and they will definitely boost your preparation also if you find the session to be interesting no definitely share it with your friends your colleagues your family members or beat any person and let them know about vikas rana sir who is teaching on current affairs platform and that is one of the best platform for current affairs on youtube that's all for the day thank you and have a nice day that's all for the day friends i hope you enjoyed the session and you can follow us on the youtube channel as well as apart from youtube channel you can go and follow us at affairs cloud telegram channel and if you have any queries related to the content or the of courses offered to you or the payment which you did on the application you can contact us on the number provided that is 7677333862 apart from this friends you can follow us on the facebook as well as on instagram handle that is affairs cloud underscore official in the end friends if you use a code that is vikas10 you will be getting an additional extra 10% discount by using this code vikas10 also if you have any problem regarding the course purchase any problem regarding to our application you can contact us on the mobile number that is 9677333862 and if you want to mail us you can also mail us on support@affairscloud.com and i assure you that our representative from us will be contacting you soon and resolving your issue